Antonio Damasio, the leading professor in neuroscience, once said, human beings are feeling machines that think. We're not thinking machines that feel. While people are worrying about what makes their proposition unique, what they fail to think about is actually the emotional proposition they have for the customer. Are you selling candles or romance? Are you selling training or empowerment? Everybody buys emotionally, and therefore failure to define your emotional proposition to the customer means you're leaving it to chance. So people often ask, should my logo be black or yellow or blue? What language should I use? Well, it depends on what your emotional proposition is. If you decide you're selling candles and therefore romance, your logo shouldn't be black because it's incongruent. Emotion plays a part in the decision-making process. Therefore, failure to define your emotional selling proposition doesn't mean it won't be there, it just means you're leaving it to chance. In order to define your emotional selling proposition, think about the challenges you solve for your customers. What does that mean for them emotionally? If you can distill that into one word, you have an emotional proposition which you can use in your marketing.